I'm going to show you how to make a click graphic more frequently used for screen-based design or touch screen-based design. You, you can feel free to use it on your browser, but you don't have to. But since I don't have any artwork in here for mobile, I'm going to do it on this desktop web interface. Okay, as soon as our mouse gets here, to simulate a click or to show a click, let's see, do we need to get rid of some of those? Probably need to get rid of that last keyframe because we're already there. All right, what I would do is use a shape layer within After Effects, a circular shape layer. So I'm going to go up here to my shapes. I'm going to select the ellipse. I'm going to draw a circle of approximately, I don't know, that size. Zoom in a little bit. Maybe a little bit bigger. What do you think? looks pretty small. Now what we need to do before we start messing with this is fix the anchor point. See how I'm scaling this via the envelope and it's gravitating toward this black hole in the middle? Let's grab our pan behind or our anchor point move tool and drag that into the center. Zoom in a little bit. It needs to be pretty, yeah, that's pretty good. That's in the center. Now when I try to drag it out, there we go. It lets me scale it from the center. Okay, essentially what we're going to do is we're going to use opacity and scale here to make it look like our cursor is clicking. And you will correspondingly edit your, your assets. I said the word assets because it says assets there, but they are assets. They're graphical assets. I don't think I selected it. Okay. So we want this to appear on click. Let's take a look at our cursor keyframes. We can tell where we're at. Oh, you know what? I'm on the wrong word. That's why I can't see it. We're over here. So let's place this directly over the mouse. Right uh, under the mouse, rather. Right now we're over, but we need to be under. Drag it underneath my cursor layer there. And let's have our layer start at this point. So I'm going to hit left bracket on my keyboard. I'm going to name this layer Click Animation. The good thing about making this click animation is you only have to make it once. You can then just duplicate it and move it to different places. Is there kicking happening over there? <laughs> well, sound is getting kicked from the inside as we speak. It's a shame that men don't have that blessing, isn't it? No. <laughs> let's, uh, let's scale this thing up. Let's option S to set a scale keyframe. And how long do you think it should take a blip to scale up on click? It's going to be really, really fast. Like three frames, four frames. One, two, three, four. Let's try four frames and add another scale keyframe. And then let's go back to our very first scale keyframe and scale that sucker down. And then let's add an opacity keyframe, option T, at the beginning of our layer. And let's zoom in on our timeline a little bit. And let's jump to that second keyframe, make an opacity keyframe. All right. So back at the first opacity keyframe, we're going to set it to zero. Okay, so it's going to let's deselect. And you know what? We don't want it to be full opacity ever, really. Also, we want to change the color. We don't want dark gray. Let's change the color. Actually, we can do it up here, can't we? Let's change the color of our fill. What do you think is a good color for an inobtrusive? A light gray color, maybe? Neon green. Yellow, highlighter yellow. I guess we could have done it all with opacity, but let's say full opacity for this little dot is, I don't know, 70%. I'm changing the value on the second keyframe here. So it goes from 0 to 70%. 
Okay, so now it's at full speed, full size rather. We now need it to scale back down. Really tiny. I didn't go all the way to zero. I don't know why. Probably because I don't want it to end. This is going to go so fast here. Let's type in something like 40. So it doesn't shrink down to nothing. And then type in zero opacity. Okay, let's preview this thing. I have a feeling it's going to be a little bit long, but who knows. Set our work area. Preview. Oops, we're still on full screen. It's kind of hard to tell. We're not going at full speed by any stretch. Let's turn off full screen in our preview panel. So it'll just do this for us. Yeah, so we're playing back at five frames per second because not only am I broadcasting via Apple TV, but I'm also doing a screencast right now, a tutorial. But uh, what I would do is if that's too slow, I would go in and I would make the frames closer together. Let's stop that. I have no idea how fast this looks in real time. This is a 30 frame per second animation. The other thing I would do is just go in and easy ease these things. Easy ease. And then, yeah, we don't need to worry about motion blur or anything, but once I click, I'm going to see a little blip there. Yeah, it goes really fast. That's about all you need, though. Just a little indicator that something's happening there. It's hard to see the fade in, isn't it? There we go. Yeah? I want to show us how 